a different service. Actually, this service is to make available to you 70 prophetic utterances. The ball is now in your court to catch them, to arrest them, bring them into your life. But one thing is certain here today, as many people as shall claim any of these 70 prophetic utterances shall definitely have mighty testimonies. If you are one of those who will have testimony, let your amen be loud. How many prophetic utterances? Seven. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I read from verse 14. Second Chronicles 20 verse 14. Then upon Jaaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Benaiah, the son of Jelel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hacking ye on Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. So tomorrow, go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Joshua bowed his head, his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of Korahites and of the children of Korite stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on her. What a strange battle plan. 20. And they rose early in the morning. They went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established. <laughs> Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. <laughs> and when they had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the Lord, I mean, and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and endure forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambushment against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Monsia, which came against Judah, and they were smitten. That was why I asked you to sing those praises with holy misbehavior. Why is he going to do more? 23. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monsia. These are three enemies that were fighting them. Now the enemies are now fighting themselves. For the children of Amnon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monsieur, utterly to slay and destroy them. And listen to this. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another. I prophesy upon the life of somebody here that your enemies shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. They shall destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, let your amen roar like thunder. In the passage that we've read, we have instructions in the midst of battles. There are 10 instructions that God gives you in the middle of your battles, no matter what battle you are going through. Instruction number one, according to this passage you've read now, you must know your God. Know the God whom you serve. The Bible says, They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. By the same token, those who do not know their God, they shall suffer and they shall be exploited. Know your God, that your God is an awesome God. Your God is an awesome God. This is a very serious matter and I want you to take it seriously. A few days ago, I was in Congo, Kinshasa. 
we are the crusade we're talking about the mystery of deep troubles as prayer started there was a lady in that program she was 38 39 she had never experienced menstruation at that age she was in the program immediately we started praying a few minutes of the prayer our mother who was not at the crusade ran from home to rush to the crusade ground I was asking after her and when she came out say i don't know what happened I said, but a few minutes ago my younger sister began to confess to witchcraft i don't know what you are doing here but it's affecting her there she has started confessing to witchcraft she said when you were born i will give her your placenta to bury she did not bury the placenta she threw it into river congo that's why your menstruation is gone that was all the mother came to say at the crusade and she went back home the awesome power of our god was well, from that moment she began to have stomach ache and by the next day a menstruation that she hadn't seen for 30 39 years started that was the first time i would see somebody totally wet in blood and she's laughing the awesomeness of the power of our god i decree upon your life that any witchcraft power hiding anywhere to fire arrows at your destiny let the arrows backfire now in the name of jesus amen the second instruction you must know the enemy that the devil is bad and wicked third instruction do not fear fear will not change your circumstances fear will not conquer the enemy when fear is tolerated faith is contaminated when fear comes in faith jumps out don't be afraid no matter the multitude four do not be dismayed that is don't be stressed out don't be troubled don't be worried don't be so so much melancholic about the situation you are going through instruction five the battle is not yours but the lord's instruction six the only language the enemy understands is violence and the only thing the enemy respects is power seven you must know your spiritual weapons blood of jesus the word of god fire of god know those weapons eight know the word of god which is quick and powerful now have violent faith in god that is believe in god he says you shall be established and then he said number 10 believe his prophets and you shall prosper believe his prophets and you shall prosper over seven thousand times in the bible when god speaks he speaks prophetically and when those prophetic words begin to come out today i know the lives of somebody here will no longer remain the same when god begins his operation his power lacks respect when god begins his operation he can change the rules for your sake when god begins his operation he has his way in the wind and in the wild wind when god begins his operation he can create something out of nothing and i pray for somebody here that any organ in your body that the enemy has destroyed shall be recreated now in the name of jesus when god begins his operation god can make a way where there is no way when god begins his operation the threat of your enemy the plan of your enemy is relevant when god begins his operation he can take you from nowhere to somewhere so seven things are necessary this morning here if you want to key into those prophecies number one you need to surrender your life to jesus that is not negotiable number two you need to become a friend of god and number three worry must die in your life worry will not give you anything number four violent faith to key into those prophecies number five you need brutal merciless holy cry the kind of amen you should say is an amen that when the enemy hears it he runs if you begin to say amen amen to these prophecies and you lose your voice in the process you've made a good bargain as far as you claim the prophecies because that voice will come back then six you need violent praises when we begin the, the praises praise god violently and seventh thing is to believe his prophets this is september the beginning of the ember months 
Nine stands for completeness. Pregnancy lasts for nine months and delivery comes. It was in the ninth hour, Jesus said it's finished. Nine stands for harvest. Conclusion, completion of the matter. That's what nine stands for. So that's why you must key into that and claim this prophecy. I'm here to help you so that you can gain maximum benefit of today's service. If a friend brought you here today, you should thank your friend profusely. Because what will happen today in your life will mark a reference point. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. This is an important step before we begin to claim prophecies. All eyes closed. If you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Don't waste time because you want to go and pray. Wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, just leave your seat and come to the altar here at the front or the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. Quickly, just leave that seat and come out. Don't be shy. Don't be ashamed. That's why Jesus brought you here. Don't lose out on the volcanic and earthquake eruption of the power of God that is going to manifest here today. You want to surrender your life to Jesus. Do that very, very quickly now. Find a way to the altar. There is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners blood beneath the blood Just a few at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes, bow down your heads, say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. I become a citizen of heaven. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. You have taken this most important decision in life. I pray, O oh Lord, that you keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. This decision they've taken today, let it be permanent in their lives. Almighty will continue to uphold you. And you shall have a new beginning. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you and they will tell you your next step to take. The rest of us, please bow down your heads and very quietly confess your sins to the Lord.
any sin that will make you not to claim your breakthrough here today ask the Lord to forgive you please close your eyes bow down your heads and say it Jesus is here he has never failed he will never fail He's the mighty man of war the great I am talk to the Lord now talk to him I plead the blood blood of Jesus I plead the blood Oh, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead. The blood. Blood of Jesus, I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus, I plead the blood. Of Jesus, I plead in blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead in blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
and louder hallelujah have your seat beloved if this month is your birthday or you are celebrating your wedding anniversary rise up on your feet now amen father i thank you for this your children i pray oh lord that as they are celebrating their birthday in this month goodness mercy favor glory will overshadow your life in the name of jesus everything you have lost in previous years you shall repossess in the name of jesus by this time next year you become a bigger bundle of testimonies i'm also praying for those celebrating their wedding anniversary you shall continue to be well with your home no weapon form against that home shall prosper the almighty shall fight all your battles in jesus name we pray rise up on your feet beloved bring out your prayer request letter and stretch it towards this altar thank you jesus and believe god for a breakthrough father we thank you for this prayer request you are the god that answer it by fire answer us by fire in the name of jesus let every prayer request become testimonies in the name of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray put away your prayer letter now it is the prophetic hour the louder your amen especially if you know these prophecies are relevant to your life the better the faster your answer sing this song of praises with holy madness violently as you sing this song of praises you prepare heavens to make you key into the mystery of prophecy are you ready be thou exalted lord hallelujah master we praise your name Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, be thou exalted, Lord. Hallelujah. Master, we praise your name forever. Oh, yes. Johan, 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 Johan. He has given me victory. I will lift him. He over. He has given me victory. Jehovah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has given me victory. Jehovah. He has given me victory. Jehovah. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Oh, rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, no. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise up. Rise up and praise the Lord. Rise and praise the Lord. I prophesy unto the life of somebody here that within the next two months, the Lord will lift you to where no man can pull you down. The Lord will lift you to where no man can pull you down. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life that whether the enemy likes it or not, windows of great opportunities shall open unto your life in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud. Thank you, Jesus. I said, word from heaven to somebody here. The Lord said, although many people are against you now, those who are against you shall prostrate before you. 
let your amen be loud Aha. I have a word for somebody here the Lord said those who are trying to stop you they have stopped themselves in the name of Jesus Aha. in the name of Jesus prophesy unto your life that you will be delivered from the past and rescued into the future thank you Jesus I speak unto your life that your life will be an environmental transformer and you will be a bringer of blessings in the name of Jesus messenger of affliction of sickness as i count seven now they shall immediately carry their loss away from your life in the name of jesus thank you jesus when i begin to count you begin to cry out carry your lord in jesus name one two three four five six seven hear this word of the lord the lord said i should tell you that it will make victory out of your loss uh -huh. and all those who are not interested in seeing you around it is they who will not see around in the name of jesus you shall overtake your problems you shall overtake your enemies you shall overtake them 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 in the name of jesus Now I say one from heaven to somebody here. The last thing I should tell you that you have had enough bitter times. Your hour of testimony has come. Your hour of testimony has come. Your hour of testimony has come. In the name of Jesus, the blockages that have been arresting your blessings, they have been arrested now. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. Possess your possession. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said, I will heal your diseases. I will bind your wound. I will refund your losses. The Lord will accelerate you into a new place receive that divine acceleration now receive it in the name of jesus that person over there you are about to experience a marathon of favor a marathon of favor in the name of jesus the seed of affliction arising from your foundation has been killed now in the name of jesus ah there is somebody over there the lord said he will sweep you into great breakthroughs Aha. and all those who feel they are big and they are hindering you they shall be massively disgraced uh -huh. and i prophesy upon your life that in your life this year there shall be no loss 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 in the name of jesus 
whether it is convenient for the enemy or not this is your season of fulfillment this is your season of good reports evil reports shall scatter in the name of jesus and this prophecy is specially for somebody here the lord said very soon very soon you shall be able to give 90 percent of your income amen and you will live abundantly on the 10 percent that is left and you that brother over there you that sister over there i have this strange word for you the lord said you shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life you shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life let your amen be loud the power that divided the red sea shall change your story 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 all your stubborn problems and stubborn enemies they shall commit suicide in the name of jesus hmm. i have this word for somebody i don't know who this word is for but if your amen can shake the gates of hell it to manifest in your life your enemies will plan your celebration that's right they will plan it in the name of Jesus every threat to your existence shall backfire that's right and all the holes the holes they are digging for you the digger of the holes shall fall into the hole and you shall be an overcomer in the name of jesus every problem the enemy is creating for you shall become your stepping stone to greatness and every sickness assigned against your destiny shall die it's happening it's happening every sickness assigned against your destiny shall die shall die in the name of jesus all the ancestral vultures delegated to feed on your destiny shall be buried alive in the name of jesus every amen assigned to kill you shall die in your place thank you jesus you shall receive favor from unexpected places you shall have a voice from unexpected places your enemies shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves in the name of jesus every agent of sorrow that is assigned against you shall crumble not only that any door of tragedy open to torment you shall be shattered to pieces ha. thank you jesus any chain that has tied you down to one spot is broken by the power of god it's broken 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 in the name of jesus any power that wants to disgrace you shall be massively disgraced in the name of jesus you will jump out of the pit of poverty into the arena of prosperity in the name of jesus every year of unconscious detention unconscious detention in the camp of the enemy is broken to pieces now in the name of jesus 
now this word is for somebody here every serpent and scorpion of your father's house that defeated your parents shall die let your amen be loud whether the enemy likes it or not you will cross over to the arena of victory something is about to happen now a miracle that will shock your doctors it's about to happen creative miracles are about to happen aha every power that has padlock your success that has padlock your children shall release the keys by force they shall release the keys 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 in the name of jesus every serpent that has swallowed the breakthrough of anyone here the stomach of the serpent shall burst and your breakthrough shall jump out in the name of jesus every power that has threatened you in the past and they think that they have finished their agenda they shall receive ugly surprise in the name of jesus the habitation of strangers in the body in anybody here now strangers in the head strangers in the chest strangers in the kidney strangers in the womb let the habitation be rendered desolate for them now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all the enemies that have entered into the garden of your life the power of god shall swallow them this month i prophesy to somebody here whose voice can be very loud that your satanic siege is over the siege is over the siege is over i speak unto the life of somebody here that pit of witchcraft where they are diverting your benefits diverting your benefits your benefits are being withdrawn and the pit shall be closed up in the name of jesus i plug your life into the arena of promotion receive the promotion now receive it now in the name of jesus every river of pain river of failure from which you have been swimming shall terminate and you shall swim into the river of gain and prosperity you shall fly from the sky of rejection to the firmament of dominion in the name of jesus you shall depart from the bus stop of stagnancy and go into the bus stop of breakthroughs in the name of jesus there is a word for somebody here if your amen can be louder than anyone around you the lord said i should tell you that your breakthrough shall surpass every previous breakthrough that you have had in the name of jesus receive it 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 in the name of jesus you will arise and your land will be a land of favor your testimony shall be great your miracle shall give back to other miracles you will move from victim to victor you will move from shame to fame this is for somebody here who has been crying to the lord god shall waste your wasters 
God shall waste your wasters. God shall waste your wasters. In the name of Jesus. And your wasted years shall be compensated. Now with a loud voice. 21 times we shout. I receive it. Then you said the last one in the name of Jesus. Are you ready now? Go! I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every year that you have lost shall be restored. Every joy that you have lost shall be restored. All the helpers that you have lost shall be restored. Your business, your career shall come alive in a new way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life that your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. In the name of Jesus. Your impossibility shall become possible. And you shall be celebrated. Let your amen be loud. Your prayer points here today shall be celebrated. Shall be celebrated. In the name of Jesus. Your life shall disappoint your enemies. Let your amen be loud. Your life shall disappoint your enemies. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon you. Stars cannot be touched. Your destiny is untouchable. Every demonic rule. Contrary to your laughter. They are overruled now. In the name of Jesus. There is somebody here. You are walking into uncommon turnaround. Within the next 10 days. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God will locate you. And connect you to the airpass of your destiny. In the name of Jesus. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. You shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. In the name of Jesus. Every ladder of darkness. Placed to harass you shall become your ladder of honor in the name of Jesus begin to thank the Lord now Masukaya Boshendera Bakanta begin to thank the Lord something great has happened in your life today Makatonda Sente Yaboshende Ribosotonde Keyaboshende Rabo Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh God, I'm very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I'm very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, sing it loud, sing it loud. Hallelujah, oh Lord. I'm very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am saved thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, oh Lord. I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. 
ever done for me. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful. I am saved. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. He reigns, He reigns, He reigns. We give glory to the Lord, He reigns. Adoration. Hallelujah, we give glory to the Lord. My lasting Father, have that lasting stone. The much holy God, be that glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting Son, the much holy God, be that glory. Louder! Be thou glorified, 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 praising the Lord of my soul. This is the day you have made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise it, praise the Lord. This is the day. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise it. This is the day we have made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Things have happened here today. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Stretch your two hands towards this altar. If you are watching it on satellite, stretch your hands towards your screen. Listen to this words of prophecy. Your destiny shall attract color. In the name of Jesus. In the book of bad luck, your name is cancelled forever. In the name of Jesus. The best effort of your stubborn enemies shall end in painful failure. In the name of Jesus. You will celebrate Jesus. And every disappointment shall become divine appointment. Your life will be a proof that the God of Elijah is still on duty. The Bible says, When a righteous man falls seven times, that he shall rise again. I prophesy for somebody here, you shall bounce back. 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 Right there where you are, professor, upon your life. That no man born of a woman shall stop you from becoming what God wants you to become. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this day, there shall be divine revolution in your life. We shall bring you divine elevation. In the name of Jesus. And every opposition that shall come your way, shall bring you mighty breakthroughs listen to me the Lord said heaven will bring down their policemen to arrest your arresters in the name of Jesus the Lord will lift you up and change your story completely 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout a several for the man. Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of Jesus. As we are praying here now, a satanic bird was sent here. It is dead. Amen. It's, it's actually on my feet here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Close your eyes now. All eyes closed. Now listen. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that desire. A lot of evil men are gathering themselves to rule Nigeria. A lot of occultic men are grouping themselves together to spoil the destiny of Nigeria further. A lot of blood drinking men want to rule this nation. If we as a church allow them, they will cause chaos. This is why I want you to pray this prayer in anger. Say, so every occultic power to rule Nigeria within 24 hours in the name of Jesus just let the occultic power be destroyed in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray every politician whose agenda is to steal <laughs> scatter in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray it. if the agenda is to steal scatter them thank you jesus Aha. in jesus name we pray wanting to plunge nigeria into bloodshed you are a liar in the name of jesus wants to plunge nigeria into bloodshed you are a liar in the name of jesus Jesus name we pray finally so where is the Lord God of Elijah arise sanitize the leadership of this country sanitize the leadership of this country open your mouth and pray like that Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In case you are not aware, 18 countries in Africa are celebrating their 50th year anniversary this year. Mostly, they have not made much progress. There is a power that pulls them down. All we need to do now is to now begin to bless Nigeria with all the blessing God puts in our mouth. As we move to this 50th year anniversary, speak good things into your country. Bless the nation. Bless the nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray right now for all your children who have attended this prophetic meeting. But Lord, their testimonies will be permanent. The Lord will bless you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. It is written that you to the hills will raise up your head. From there comes your help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Not suffer your feet to be moved. For it that keep it you will not slumber. That keep it Israel shall end that slumber not sleep. The Lord shall keep your going and you're coming out. No shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. 
Then that shall any plague move now you can. It is well with you. Every tragedy of embalmment, it is minus you. It's minus you, minus your family. In the name of Jesus, I put you in the envelope of fire. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. A louder amen. A louder amen. A louder amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship.